Hey guys, welcome to Drupal Learn. Today we are going to see how to install the latest Drupal CMS version. Let's get started. Let's launch the terminal. Let's create a directory. Um, Drupal CMS. Let's go into the directory. Launch the browser. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Drupal CMS via DDEV as I have installed DDEV. Let's install Drupal CMS DDEV CMS this one and let's click on develop installing Drupal this goes to the official let's start with, start building with Drupal CMS let's click on looking to download Drupal CMS directly Okay, so now we have composer create project Drupal CMS one. We'll copy this. We'll also click on the Drupal CMS user guide. Click on this install Drupal CMS, and we look into the install Drupal CMS locally with the DDEV. Let's get to this. So it is suggesting to download the the file and then extract it and then launch the shell command so let's go ahead and do that let's download the drupal cms and let's move back to the directory let's move from downloads go to downloads let's check the it's Drupal CMS CD Drupal CMS now let's look into what is inside this as you can see it has only Launch Drupal CMS shell file and then a composer JSON. So according to the doc that we saw, all we have to do is just run the shell file. So it says creating a new new project once completed. That must be of one of the type. Okay. Let's get back to this one. Let's copy DDEV Composer. So it says DDEV Composer Create project is unsupported. Use DDEV Composer Create. Okay. So it is suggesting that they could not find a project wants to run a ddev config okay so let's go back to install drupal same as using ddev let's go to the ddev quick start this is the ddev official site a lot of cms has been listed here let's look for Drupal so it is suggesting ddev config project type this okay let's copy this and let's set the config first so it is saying Drupal let's set this to Drupal just Drupal so it has been set 
now let's launch the shell file it is creating the files So as you can see, the website URL has been built here, Drupal CMS Let's just wait for the composer to load the necessary packages, complete the installation, but it says there is an error, the requirement of 11.1.1 .1 request, a greater PHP version, the version that I use is lower, okay, let's go and Change that. So let's go to the dot ddev directory. Let's list all the file. Just open this config.yaml. So where the PHP version is set to 8.3 just make it 8.2 just make it as 8.3 and then and then get out launch it again Again, it's showing the URL. Let's just wait. The dependencies are loaded. Yeah, it is loaded and the necessary packages and files are being downloaded and installing. We saw the URL here. Let's just. Ah. It is directly launched into the browser. Now it says some pre configuration like what are you going to use the site for? Right now, I don't know. So I'll skip this and give the site name. Yeah, I'll leave it as such. And an email. Video Drupal. Load at admin.com and give your password to so it just takes up a few moments just like the standard Drupal installation so as you can see it is showing the modules that are being installed and a lot of new modules compared to a traditional Drupal installation let's see how the setup looks for the new Drupal Starshot CMS. So this is the new dashboard for the CMS, quite different from the standard one. And uh, I see there are two default content, like a home page and a privacy policy page as well which is yet to be published that's new and as you can see there is a the dashboard is kind of new compared to a traditional Drupal one and you see the create content it goes straight to basic page let me check structure content types so there's only one content type in this the usual would be two basic page and an article but with Drupal start shot CMS it's just a basic page let's go to appearance and check out what are the themes available 
So they have an olive oil and claro gin. And there is an easy email theme. I guess this is for purely sending, formatting the emails. Start and gin is the administration theme. Let's go to the dashboard once again. Uh, extend as such the default modules that are available and let's see what are the new modules pretty much the same ones this one's new password compatibility and postgresql default install and there's a search and sqlite support and there are a lot of a related modules school and AI providers and then C tools and some experimental stuffs. There's easy A, which comes installed by default. It's pretty much more or less an equivalent to rules. There's fields, field types, there's a geocoder module. I guess tracking location and stuff. There's a geo field. There's a default jQuery. And that jQuery UI resizable. And there are some email related modules Drupal Symphony Mailer Light in the media. Migration as usual. And multilingual if you want, you need to just enable it. There's navigation. Breadcrumb comes by default that's great so let's check the other modules there's a lot more let's go to the configuration it's pretty much people there's a capture that is from default i guess it's cool from system Actually, it would be just basic site settings and cron. However, here there is a mail system by default. Uh, this is cool. So, search and metadata. Let's go to the dashboard once again and check out the options here. There's something called choose recommended add ons. So, not sure what this would do but i would like to check it out let's go to browse modules this is a new feature i guess they are showing up whatever is that's on drupal.org here in a fancy ui token gets installed by default that's not usually the case this web form, this meta tag. Let's see if we can install this via the UI. I'm installing it. That's cool. Let's refresh this and let's actually it is found under configuration. Search and metadata. Oh yeah, it is here. That's cool. This is indeed uh, Usually people struggle with Composer in installing the modules, but this is much easier for web administrators to install the module directly via the UI. It's great. But uh, let me go to, I need something to check it out here. Let me get into the web. Get into the modules. Control. I guess the installed module would have automatically created, pulled down the module here and created an entry. There is so much, but the only thing we need to check is yeah, that is meta tag. Cool. So let's also check that if this has got an entry in composer.json. There's no JSON, I guess. 
Yeah, there is a JSON. Let's just open the JSON file and see if there is a meta tag entry. Does a meta tag? Does a meta tag? No, there isn't. Since we installed that via UI, I guess uh, doesn't have an entry in the composer.json. That makes sense. Let's just get out of this. Let's go back to the UI. And uh, let's also check what these recipes are. Okay, that's simply says add news content type on listing page. Cool. This adds a blog. So I guess this just adds a content type on the listing page. Let's add this and see what we are getting. It is installed. It goes to let's go to the dashboard once again. Hmm. So another two content type have been added. This wasn't there earlier. Let's click on this. So there is a blog. I guess this was the listing page that they've been talking about. Mostly hoping to be a view. Let's get to the structure wheels. Yeah, there is one. So let's come back here and in a note, we have the standard view edit provisions. Oh, there is a duplicate. I'm not sure what it does. I'm assuming it is similar to your clone. Let's check it out. You're duplicating. Okay, let's just add that it is a duplicate. Let's save this. Okay, it says a duplicate and let's go and see in content. Yes. So it is pretty much uh, an alternate to node clone, I guess. So apart from that, this would be modules and people, let's see. It's just the standard users. Let's edit the user, see if they have provided anything new. No, the report seems cool, I guess. Status report. It's all about the standard, yeah, about your website, there it is. So content, media, what is the trash? Not sure, let's say we delete the, not the node and see if it is gonna go and sit in the trash. We deleted a JPEG and go to trash, there isn't any. So I'm not sure where this trash comes from or what it is purely intended for. Um, so guess this is the overall new installation, Drupal CMS or Storeshot as we call it. Let's go to the home page. So I mean, try to log out. Cool. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Today we have seen how to install Drupal Starshot CMS using DW.